Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending this session. We are excited and honored to be here. We are from Zemun Vocational High School in Mado. My name is Nancy. My name is Sunny. My name is Joe. And we have an important partner who is... Wayne! Although there are four partners in our team, Wayne is not going to present with us. We are from Food and Beverage Management Department. Today we are so honored to share something interesting about gender equality. Our topic focuses on the fifth goal of SDGs, gender equality, especially in our school. Let's look at the official website. By the way, let me introduce our school pets named above. One is female and the other is male. In general, we have six different departments, but today we only focus on food and beverage management department and the early child education department which are characterized as the most shocking differences. Let's look at the outlines of the presentation. The first one is characteristics of our boys' classmates. The second is limitations of facilities and events for males. The last is possible advice. You know what? Most boys in our school tend to have some memories as follows. The first one is more considerate than other boys in other departments. The second is most of them can make dishes such as Western cuisine, Chinese food, baking, <coughs> drinking, and so on. The next is they tend to be willing to clean and sweep, so girls don't need to do the chores themselves. Since there are the most significant differences between the number of boys and girls in early child education departments and our department, we will see the relative charts in the following slide. That is why we are going to discuss the gender equality in our department and in early child education department. Hi, I'm Sonny. Let's see the bar chart. According to this, it's about current statistics on the difference between girl students and boy students in our school in 2021. We can be aware that the number of boys in our department is fewer than half of less of girls. We also know that only six boys in early child education department from grade 10 to grade 12. Later on, we prepare three questions to interview. Two boys are from our department and one boy from early child education department. The first question is, how do you feel when most of your classmates are girls? Let's see a clip of Respondent C. The second question is, have you ever felt annoyed about this? The third question is, if you had the opportunity to transfer to different classes, would you want to try, why or why not? The respondent, the first question, let's see the respondent C, please. the first issue about fuel facilities, like restaurants. We are going to talk deeper on it later. The second issue is unfair arrangement of sports events, such as talk of work, track competition, all kinds of ball games, which are almost for girls. However, our annual sports events are ball game approach. Sadly, it is also the most boring time of our boy classmates. For most of them, all they have chance to participate in. All they have to do is cheer for their girl peers or just walk around all day. What a pity. Let's go back to the issue number one. Build facilities for males only. According to the current data from our school, 
We have 21 toilets for males, 26 for females, and only one gender friendly restaurant in our school. However, every male restaurant is just equipped with two or three toilets, which actually cannot meet all students' needs. I'm Joe. We just shut all toilet in one building on our campus, and we have three toilet. From this video, we can see three toilet for female, one for male, and the other is gender-friendly toilet. Gender is seen a kind of gender inequality. It's going on when natural COVID. It's turned out the boy need to spend a little longer time than they have expected, which is eventually annoying for boys. In addition to toilet issue, let's see another important part in our school. This is our school competition rules. In brief, one girl student can participate in all events, while boy can only participate in much fewer contents. Actually, it's not fair for boys. You know what? All boy students can do in the venture leader. Our school, TWS, which used to be girls' school, started to recruit boys in 2003. As boys a boy student increased, growth and facility, and growth. Still leaving something to be desired. Closing and convenient for boys. Let's see a picture. This is our school student from grade 10 to grade 12. It's food beverage management. And we can know that one of few of them are boys. And this is our partner, Wayne. In attempt to solve these two problems, we have done something and two over something to our school teacher in charge. One, talk to the teacher who's in charge. Two, all of our sick, all of our students can have opportunity to our offer advice to our principal advice. And and we indeed did it. Our, our principal reply that we are be going to be more gender facility. Now, even so boys and girls still get along with pretty well. But we still hope some changes are going on in the future. That is our presentation. Thank you very much. Um, again, technology is not as reliable as human beings, you know. And I really admire how you deal with this technological problem in between. You didn't uh, get nervous, two nervous, um, because of that problem over there. Alright, so, very good presentation. And I would like to... Um, one advice for you is that if you are going to use uh, so many different uh, technologies in between, check technology in advance. Otherwise, you will be very nervous or even uh, forget all your knowledge in between. And I would like to, all of you have very clear pronunciation and I especially enjoy your warm introduction of your team members. You work very well all together. 
I think that's one of the key elements, key factors that make you or presentation a very successful one. Congratulations on a good job. Congratulations, good presentation. Uh, SDG 5 is not an easy topic, it's a very, very huge topic. Your slides don't clear, effective used. What does it mean effectively used? You did not put too many pictures and too many words. You used one question, one small picture. You did not put the picture overwhelming over the text or the text much bigger than the picture. So that was very effective for you. Good. Um, once again, I repeat my colleague's uh, issue here. If you are going to use technology, you need to prepare plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, until plan Z if you have to. Always remember, technology will destroy your presentation. All presentation cannot match your technology. You have to work seamlessly together, okay? I suggest, I suggest, and I'm gonna show you right here. I have my own clicker, okay? I got my own laser. If you look at the screen, I can point with my own laser, okay? Get something like this. This can do too many, two things or three things at the same time, instead of doing it by hand. That made your presentation a little bit weak. Um, over, over hammering the problem. Do you understand, guys, what over hammering a problem? It means you talk about a problem too much. Don't do that. Avoid doing that. Idea, talk about it, uh, distinction, solution, move on. Don't just talk about one point, one point, one point, one point, one point. It's like boom, 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 boom on the same problem. This will slow you down. Okay? It will slow you down. Um, combined with the technology, slow you down, and because slow you down, you miss the, the bell. The bell is not a big deal, but don't overhammer issues. Uh, your solutions uh, towards the end were quite good, but you did not have enough time to explain it to them, to us or to them. Okay? But still, good job, congratulations, nice try. Thank you. <laughs>